potential output. In the past, in many industries, workers in Canada could count on defined benefit pensions. In recent years, the shifting economy and plunging stock markets encouraged many private employers to drop those plans. A change that, by and large, hasn't hit the federal government sector. Yeah, I hope, I hope Marion Pollock, helps. after 37 years at Canada Post, says she enjoys the security that comes with the defined benefit pension. It's knowing that every month I, I have money coming to my bank account. Now, with Canada Post, a federal crown corporation, seeking to eliminate defined benefit pensions for new hires, some believe it is time to examine all federal pensions. So if you look at that example, uh, what you're going to potentially see is all these defined benefit pensions, uh, Canada Post is probably the most, uh, you know, the, the example you think of as potentially the highest risk of being on, on the taxpayers. These defined benefit pension plans are, are very large risks that taxpayers have to cover. I don't understand. Labour is watching closely, but so far, expressing little concern that what is going on at Canada Post is the beginning of a large-scale battle. No other Crown Corporation has come to the bargaining table seeking to get rid of the defined benefit plan. So this is very troubling in regard to uh, their strategy, so I'm, 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 I'm at a loss to understand their strategy here. We're probably not going to see much of a push to define contribution in the public sector. This professor thinks Canada Post is unique, in a tough spot, and trying to reduce pension obligations because email is taking over. If you look at Canada Post and think, where is it going to be in 10 years, probably it's going to have fewer employees. Still, some worry Canada Post's showdown could start something that will end up hurting workers later. I want to tell these young workers that a pensions are worth fighting for. How much of a fight there will be over pensions at Canada Post, how serious management there is about getting rid of defined benefit pensions, that's still to be decided.